In this review already, it's the Canon FS100. This is going to be a second video, but a much better one. I believe I'll, I believe I have left out a lot of details on this camcorder last time when I did the review. So I want to make it better and more accurate than before. Okay, I don't want to, you know, mess around or get it along. I want to get this done for you. So first of all, I'm going to start off with the cards I've been using and the one I will be using. You can see here, it's a 1 gig. It's some kind of a company called OCZ. It's a 1 gig. It works. Just got this the other day. Remember this video if you've seen it. Review on my Kingston SD cards. That's a, that's a 2 gig. 2 gig. That works. I practiced yesterday. I shot one little video clip. It worked. This works too. It's a 4 gig by SanDisk. It's a class 2. That works. Yes, I got another class 2, 4 gig. It's an SDHC card, by the way. Again, another 4 gig card. I like to keep me. I don't know. I like collecting media cards lately. I don't know why. Another one, 8 gigs. This goes up to 16 gigs, and also I heard from Canon website 32 gigs, but they're expensive. Now you will get this. It's your AC wall charger. I stuck it in here to make it look neater. So let's pull this out. Oh, this goes to the wall. This goes. This goes in the camera. On the side here, on the right side, you just lift this little thing up here. And you just stick it right in here. And there you go. You just plug this in the wall and you're charging. Okay. Then you get a USB cab cable. Now you may see this has FS100. That's because of one reason. The Canon H7 uses the same exact one. Can Canon G7 at the digital camera. 10 pixel and also I have a Canon HG10 high definition camcorder uses the same type so I don't mix them up I have to just use a marker and just write a description of them that's all that's why you see the FS100 written on this so I don't mix them up even though you can use the same ones but most likely you can't so I'll be right back I want to sit down now and go over the camcorders as the best I can for the second video of the Canon FS100. Come back. I don't know if I can do it all in one segment, but I'll try my best. If not, I'll add a second segment if needed. So far, it looks like I'm gonna have to. I'm up to three minutes already talking about SD cards. I apologize. Let's get started. Okay, in the back of it, you can see your record and your stop. Over here is your settings. The red camera look that's take still pictures the red looks like a movie camera that's to take video the blue video icon is to play video back the blue camera look logo is to play your pictures back and all done by a dial that's it on that part on the top is your power on and off switch your shuttle button to take still pictures. You zoom out and zoom in up here. Up here you can see it says megapixel. This has a 2000x digital zoom. You can see here it has 40x advanced zoom. I have to do a second segment to show you how you get to those settings. Very important to know. There's your Canon name. SD. HC little metal plate logo there under here is your battery compartment you slide this thing out out and your battery pops out a little gray clip is to release the battery if you need to change it if it dies you gotta buy a new one that's how you do that or when you first get it you just pop it in and you see here a click clicks here is I'll show you right here well, I'll show you on my new 
SD card. Look, I'm going to insert this Kingston brand into my FS100. It goes in like this. It's like this. Just like that. I knew it did. Name facing you. Insert. Close compartment. Open LCD. Turn on cam. And you can see. There's no error messages. Some cards may give you an error message. Avoid it. It works. Like the one gig card. It'll give you an error message. Stating video may not be able to record on this card. Like I said, void it, you can still use it. Okay, you can see it's in camera picture mode. That's video mode. Right there. Okay, we'll turn this off. Like I said, you've seen the back of it. There's so much top of it. Let me adjust my camcorder again. Okay, that's better now. Top of it you've seen. This side you've seen. The back of it. Nothing on this side, just your hand strap part, can, there's your battery charger compartment there, behind this little flap, I was going to say door, but it's a flap. Here is your lens, this has no threads, you cannot add any lenses on here, there is no threads, you got a right and left microphone in the front here is a light yes that is a light there and that takes care of this part the outside part I would imagine just went over the front of it the lens has no threads you cannot add or screw on any lenses like I said your right left microphone your light for night shot or I'll explain that later in my next segment take one step at a time to look it over really carefully this comes in three colors this is the called garnet wine it's like a purple burgundy color it comes in sapphire blue and silver that I know of because other models have came out this year I guess January I would imagine 2009 but I don't plan on trading or Upgrading because this is good enough for me because it's this standard definition records on two types of cards SD or SDHC cards this model Not like the FS 10 or FS 11. They have built-in internal memory One gives you 16 gigs and the other gives you eight This is strictly records only to a card if you do not have a card inserted you won't be recording jack Okay, so you must have a card at all times, either in here or, I say, with you. <laughs> That's right. I'll get to the next segment about how much recording time you will get on each card using a 1 gig, a 2 gig, a 4, and an 8. That will be the next segment and going over the details inside of this camera itself. Your settings would have find them at. Not like the other video I did, that was no good, I gotta delete that one. But this is more of a thorough old going over this camera itself. So stay tuned for the part two on how many minutes or hours you can record on a 4 gig, 8 gig, 2 and 1 gig card. So that will be coming up next, so stay tuned for that part. Thanks.